Um, I was thinking um, maybe Martin can do a short demo um, oh, uh, awesome. of the implementation in AFJ. Yes. So wait, can I share my screen? Yes, you may. I think it should just work. I hope. Let me know if not. Uh, I also need to update my preferences. That's probably, uh, if you're on a map, you'll probably have to leave and come back. So that'll be okay. okay. We'll, we'll wait so, for you. I'll come back. <laughs> yeah. See you in a moment. This is what we're uh, trying to do with SSI also, right? Giving user control over... Uh... How, how, how your data is used. <laughs> well played. Welcome back. Thanks. So let's try again. Excellent. Uh, can you see my screen? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yes. So uh, in AFJ or in Rado now, we are mostly finished with the changes. There are a few small to-dos now, um, but uh, the biggest parts are finished. Um, the, we can now issue credentials with the new data integrity format and also request proofs via the uh, presentation exchange and convey the credentials in the W3C uh, format, right? Um, I have a branch on my uh, GitHub where I have created a demo. So where we have two agents, uh, Feather and Dallas, kind of like the uh, old demo, if anyone knows it, um, mm -hmm. which is uh, how we can issue a credential, for, a credential from an agent called Feather to Alice, and uh, then uh, send a proof request from Feather to Alice and get a response. Uh, so we could also use that for interrupt testing because you asked last time. Um, uh, yeah, I can also quickly show you in code how that looks. Uh, can you see VS Code? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, just very simple. Um, Faber, so the which is the insurance side, uh, imports a few static bits. I uh, use checked now uh, because it was simpler to do to implement. Uh, so we imported it. And uh, we register schema, credential definition, uh, create a connection with Alice or with another agent. It's uh, not important that it's the same or that it's credo. Um, and this is how we can offer a credential in, um, in credo now. So we just uh, specify the connection ID if we say that we want to use the new data integrity format. Mm -hmm. Binding required. Uh, we now want binding using the Adam Kretz link secret binding method. And uh, we also pass in the uh, the credential or the W3C credential here. It's not a verifiable credential yet, just the W3C credential. Okay. Um, yeah, the claims must align with the, uh, which what uh, is contained in the schema, obviously, but uh, that's it. Uh, then, for Faber, we just uh, wait until we receive our request and then accept it. And let's just continue for the uh, Faber side here. This is how we request a proof. Uh, also very simple, we just uh, say this is the agent that proves that request proof. And we say we want to do it using a diff presentation exchange. And all we need to do is uh, provide the pres a presentation definition. This uh, should be exactly the presentation definition which we used uh, in the test vectors repo. So um, should be, uh, I think that's pretty nice. Uh, we uh, want the data integrity protected VC in return uh, with an Adam Kretz 2023 signature. Uh, I could remove this, but it hasn't hurt either. And um, yeah, then the, the uh, Faber just accepts the presentation. Now, uh, let's just see also or quickly look at the other side where we, um, if we receive a, or Alice receives a credential offer, we just say that uh, we want to accept, we provide the, the link secret ID with which we want or to which we want to uh, bind the credential to. And when we receive the credential, we just accept and process it. 
um, for the proof request essentially for it is exactly exactly the same. Uh, yeah, we select the credentials for the request automatically, then um, uh, we just accept the proof request once we receive it. Uh, yeah, I can also quickly run it here. So let's see, can you read this or is it too small? In the terminal? Yeah, perfect. I'm good. Uh, so uh, for Faber, for example, here we can just create a connection invitation. Uh, Alice receives the connection invitation and then we can offer a credential here from Faber to Alice, which with a did check for now. Nice. Which uh, registers the schema credential definition. Uh, that always takes a little bit. Yeah, nice. So the credential offer is sent. We also see that here, uh, credential offer received. We want to accept it now. Uh, yeah, again, the offer is accepted and that's it. So, so uh, yeah, the messages are not so nice. Sorry for that, but it received the credentials. It's yeah. processed, but um, it's, we can also request a proof. Um, the same there. The proof request is received here when we want to accept it. Uh, yeah, and here at the Faber side, we see that the presentation was was accepted. Nice. I can also quickly show this is how the presentation uh, submission and, and the presentation itself looks like. So for the submission, we just have, wait, let me make this a bit, a bit bigger. We just have a random ID here, then the presentation definition ID, uh, the descriptor match, the descriptor ID for the H verification, which we called it, um, which uh, says that we have a data integrity verified representations at this path here in the presentation, uh, verified credential zero. Um, yeah, so here, if you look at the presentation, which Faber or the Faber received there, yeah, then we can see that there is one credential. And so essentially it's pointing to this here. And it is, and you can see that it's like this, it has yeah. the crypto suites out of yeah. 23, um, data integrity protect. Excellent. So that was all from my side, unless there are some questions. I love that line. That's all from my side. <laughs> That's a whole lot, Martin. That is awesome. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah.